Hello, this is Marquette Pierce. I'm making a brief tutorial showing you how to make the same background theme on several slides in Smart Notebook. What I've done so far is simply open up a blank Smart Notebook file. You can see here when I click on the Pages icon, my pages that are there. Where we go to find backgrounds and themes is in the galleries, which looks like this um, picture frame. So let's click on that. After we click on that, yours will look like this when you open it up. Um, we're in the gallery essentials, which are basically like clip art. They're um, animations and um, small programs that will run within um, Smart Notebook software. So there's some pictures, timers are under interactive and multimedia. Where we're going right now is simply under backgrounds and themes. Now it appears as though if you scroll through this, you'll notice we start at the beginning of the alphabet for ABCs, and very quickly we end up at shamrock, snowflakes, sun rays, and then we end up repeating the alphabet again back with the Bs. I believe what's happening is that some of these are backgrounds and others are themes. They apply slightly differently, so I will show you how to work with um, both options. So for instance, if you should choose a background or a theme, doesn't much matter, you can still make each of your background slides the same. For instance, let's choose one that I know you'll have to duplicate. So for instance, if we should choose sand, just click on it We say that we want to add this to our background by either choosing the drop down arrow or right clicking. They operate in the same way. And then you want to tell it to insert in notebook. Notice we were not given any options. It simply inserted this background image, the sand, to the slide. And if I go and click to look at my pages and, for instance, create a new page that will not be there because I've only applied the background to the one slide. In order to make all of my slides the same, if I've chosen one like sand that does not prompt me further, what I would do is simply go to your first slide, right click, and clone that page before you've added anything to it. Cloning the page is exactly what it sounds like. It duplicates the page. So for instance, if I had already written something like welcome students on slide one, and then I clone it, welcome students also shows up on slide two. So again, it's critical if you're choosing this option that you clone the slide before you've added anything else to it. You can also do a clone of a clone if you need to. So I've added something to this. Oops, I forgot to add the background. I might go to the one that I have not added any content to yet and clone that page. So that's one way of adding back the same background to multiple slides. It's a little clunky to operate in that manner. So let me show you the other option. So again, I'm starting fresh with a brand new Smart Notebook file. We're going to operate in the same manner, so we're going to go to Gallery. Because I was just there, it reminds me, hey, you chose sand last time. I'm going to start fresh. So let's say I've just opened up my gallery. I'm in backgrounds and themes. And this time I choose one um, that is actually a theme instead of a background. So for instance, I happen to know that autumn leaves is a theme and not a background. Again, I'm going to operate the same manner. So I either right click or choose the drop down arrow and say insert in notebook. Now with a theme, you'll notice theme, not background we get this option of what do you want to do with this theme? Would you like to include this theme on all of your pages, on the pages of the current group, or only on the page on which you are working? I think in this case, we want to include the theme on all of the pages, so we click OK. You'll notice my background has changed to include these beautiful autumn leaves. Of course, here I only had one slide, and this time, if I add a page, because I've told it to add the theme, to each of the pages, when I start a new page, it will automatically have the theme added to it. I find this way to be much easier than cloning the pages. I mean, it just depends on which you choose. For instance, blank theme, you know that it's a theme. You could right click, insert a notebook, and it's going to prompt you to add it to all of the pages. Things that look more like images, like the hexangular grid, the grid that's small, the logarithmic large grid, those are probably going to be backgrounds. Yes, that's a background, which means just to review, if you want to add this background to all of the slides, what you'll need to do is right click and then clone your page. 
I hope that was helpful in terms of helping you to figure out how to have consistency in the images used in your Smart Notebook slides.